the head of the life. Okay. So just turn and around. to my brother and sister. Glad to be in the service. One more time. Yes. We thank you all for being here this morning. We've come to worship and to praise the Lord. And our power 
is drunk within our consciousness. So he says, if you do one thing, I'll do the other. There are three things we want to look at today in this message. The first is the birth of Christ. The second is the resurrection of Christ. The third is the crucifixion. Yes, sir. Uh, the birth of Christ has been lost by the church into a Christmas season. We put more emphasis on trees and presents and gift exchange and Santa Claus than we do on the birth of Christ. That's right. But the church has a responsibility to be focused on the birth of Christ every day. Talk right, Ruth. The church has a responsibility to be focused on the resurrection of Christ. Yes, sir. Every day, but it's been lost in what we call Easter season. The bunny rabbits and chocolate eggs. Don't you know that's a lie? Yeah. Rabbits don't even they don't make it eggs. The crucifixion has been lost on a movie called The Passion of Christ. By Mel Gibson. So the church has begun to identify with the world more than getting the world to identify with the church. And that's what's going on in the world nowadays. Isaiah 9 15 says, Unto us, that's the birth of Christ, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. You all familiar with that? Yes. Yes. But his name shall be called Wonderful, yes. Yes. Counselor, yes. Mighty God, yes. Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Yes. 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 The birth of Christ shall be called Wonderful. Yes. We have a responsibility to let the world know he's wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Not just on Christmas, but every day yeah. that you are born. Oh, yes, yes. I don't care who you are, where you're from, you're sitting up here. The Lord has done something. That's right. That's right. That's right. If he didn't do no more to wake you up this morning, he's done something for yes. you. Therefore, he's wonderful. Yes, yes. Second, Isaiah said he's a counselor. Well, we know he's a counselor because all through his ministry, he counseled people. Yes, yes. Through the use of parables. Uh -huh. Are y'all in the end? Yes, sir. Third, he's a mighty God. Uh -huh. You know he's a mighty God because in the beginning was the Word. Yeah, yeah. The Word was with God. Uh -huh. And the Word was God. Yeah. And it said, and Nothing was made that was made that he didn't make. That's right. yes. Therefore, being with the Father, if you look at Genesis, when God got finished making everything, he said, now, let us yes. make man. Yeah. Who's us? God the Father. Yeah. God the Son. Yeah. Yes. God the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Then third, fourth, he says, he's an everlasting Fall. Yeah. In other words, this life is temporary. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You're only going to be here a short time. Right. Yeah. My doctor said to me the other day, you are a miracle. Mm -hmm. I would not believe you would have been here so long. Yeah. Wow. And I said to him, I wasn't depending on you. Yeah. <laughs> The book says, Know ye that the Lord God yeah, yeah. it is He that hath made us, yeah. and not we ourselves. Yeah. You are a practitioner. Right. Uh, 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 all of us got doctors, but they ain't doing nothing but 
practice. Right? That's, it. That's it. And you go to him and tell him that pill don't work, you don't do nothing to look for another pill. <laughs> and finally, he is the prince of peace. Yeah. I heard Brother Brian Cran a few minutes ago saying, peace. Uh -huh. You can't have peace without the prince yeah. of peace. That's right. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. Yeah. So in the birth of Christ, which is listed in the gospel as recorded by Matthew, he came down through 42 generations. Mm -hmm. But when he came, the angels sang, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know, when every time you think about the goodness of God, uh -huh. you ought to say, Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Glory to God in the highest. Yeah. Now, you, you, don't, you shouldn't have to wait to church till the praise team pump you up. Right. Till the deacons pray you up. Yeah. 
saw the light. And the burdens of my heart rose away. It was there by what? Faith. That I received what? And now I'm what? Happy all the day. Calvary is only mentioned one time in the Bible. And when they mention it, they write it like this. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, they don't even say it. And when they had come to Calvary, but it says when they had come to the place called Calvary. Well, I love Dr. Luke, but he got it wrong. God saw Calvary before the foundations of the world. It was already there. How do you know, Brother Reuben? Because Abraham couldn't do it. Moses couldn't do it. Noah couldn't do it. David couldn't do it. Ezekiel, Jeremiah, and Isaiah couldn't do it. None of the minor prophets could do it. They had no other name yeah. by which men can be saved. Say the name of Jesus. Jesus was the one who carried your sins before you even knew you was in the world. Come on here now. You came here, sinner. Born in sin, shaken in your own dignity. A baby learned how to lie and steal before they can even put a sentence together. I told y'all about my baby boy, Juwan, two years old, stolen cookies, crumbs all over his mouth. Juwan, did you take them cookies? Uh -uh. No. Juwan, did you take them? No, Dad. Crumbs all over his mouth. That's how we are. Okay. We deny our sins. Y'all might as well come along with me here. We deny. But Jesus said, accept the man be born in him. He cannot see the kingdom of heaven. Your birth is to tell the Lord about who you was. Not that he won't already know. Because he watched you all the way. But he wants to hear you confess and repent for what you done. Yeah. You can't go back and fix nothing you done. Yeah. You can't evade your yesterday. Yeah. You have to turn that over to the Lord. Yeah. And give it to him and let it go. You be sitting up there trying to fix what you did. I always tell the brotherhood about when I tried to go back and apologize to the old girlfriend. Spent two hours on the phone, and she just kept saying the same thing. Negro, please. <laughs> you can't fix nothing. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. What is done is done. David said, I'm going to the Lord. Yeah. And I'm going to get on my knees and ask him to blot out my transgressions. Yeah. In other words, I am a sinner. Yeah. And I'm now time for me to confess. <laughs> my sins. Yeah, yeah. And once you do that, the blood of Jesus, yeah. the blood that was shed on the cross, yes, sir. on Calvary, yeah. covers you for what you've done. Yeah, yeah. Covers you for what you do. And covers you for what you're going to do. Yeah. 
is so important is because it is Calvary that's going to be the determining factor whether you make it into heaven or whether you go to hell. It's Calvary. But the fact of the matter is, you're going one place or the other. It's Calvary that makes your transition into the kingdom of God. It is the blood that he shed for each one of us that determines whether or not we get there. Right. If you don't have the blood of Jesus, yes. Yes. it was the blood over the door that saved the children of Israel. Yes. When the plague came down, whoever had the blood, right. it's the blood that changes you. Yes. It's the blood that washes you. And it is the responsibility of the church to let the world know about the blood. Yeah, that's good. Not the blood of us. That's good. Talk to me over here. Sister Lewis, in Diocese, there's a whole lot of blood. But ain't none of the blood of Jesus. <laughs> we, we have to submit ourselves and let the world see that we are different from them. The world cannot tell the difference between the church and the world nowadays. We wonder why all this mess is going on. All this, they asked me the other day, said, why are young people going so berserk? Back in our day, we used to fight with our hands. Whoever won was the winner. But the next day, y'all was part of us. We didn't lose a draw. But now it's the young people yeah. that have no respect for life at all. Yeah. And the reason is because they don't know about the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Parents are not putting emphasis on children in church now. Yeah. Parents are not living godly lives in front of their children nowadays. Yeah. When we came up, we knew about church every day. We knew about the Lord from the time we were able to understand anything. We were baptized as children. We were told that you were going to heaven or you were going to hell. And if you didn't get saved, you weren't going to heaven. That was enough to make me start the process then. The Bible says, train up a child. The way he should go. And then when they get old, they will not depart from it. It don't mean they won't do things that you don't like. Don't mean that sin won't get a hold to them. But the one thing about it, if you taught them, they come back. I don't argue with my grown children. I pray for them every day. And I ask the Lord to touch their heart. When they're down here, they're on your hand. Yeah. When they get up here, they're on your heart. Yeah. Yeah. And so you got to turn them over to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Turn them over to the blood. Yeah. So here we are now at Calvary. Yeah. Here at Calvary, it says that when they came to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him. Yeah. The emphasis is on the crucifixion. In other words, no matter how we try to draw the picture, yeah. we can never describe how it all happened. Yeah. But we have a responsibility to do our best yeah. to try and describe what happened at Calvary. Right. Well, it says they crucified. Yeah. But now, I don't care about where or how we Describe it. Yeah. All I know is what the song said. Yeah. I know it was the blood. Yes, they pierced him in the side. Three, three, three. The blood came streaming down. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know yeah. that it was the blood yeah. that saved me. One day, yeah. I was lost. 